you went down and played a couple games in San Antonio, lost the first, but were able to come back in the second game and then even overcome a deficit in the second game. How important was that for your team to learn? It was good to see our guys battle back, you know, and fight. Uh, I think it's a good example. Just, you know, I think we were down eight with a minute and a half to go that uh, you never give up. Good, you know, good things can happen if you keep playing hard, and it was a good win for us Saturday. Jude had a clutch shot at the end of that game. I guess just talk about his performance and overall in the season what he has contributed to the team. Javais has been one of our leaders. I mean, he's one of our hardest workers, and um, they played a zone the whole game in Southeastern. And then the last possession, they jumped out in a man, and we were kind of scrambling, but he had the ball in his hands, which was good. And the guy that was guarding him just couldn't stay in front of him, and he made a great play. In two games this weekend, and one of them is against St. Mary's, a, t or a chance to kind of get back at them for a getting the loss on Friday. I guess just talk about that matchup and what you're going to do in practice this week to prepare for them. Well, we've got to do a better job in transition. St. Mary's, uh, historically, I guess, has not been a fast team, but they beat us in transition. Their guards are much better this year, and they'll probably be one of the better teams that we'll play this year as far as uh, in our region anyway. They're uh, very physical, and we've got to be more physical uh, this week. And Kevin Kotzer is probably the best post player that we'll play this year. Did it surprise you any? Southeastern stayed in the zone the whole time, just an unknown with the new coach over there? or Yeah, because, you know, I played for Kelly Green, and he's been a man-to-man -man guy, but he's been running zone, I guess, for the last year or two. And, uh, it did surprise me that they played zone the whole game, but we didn't attack it. You know, we didn't shoot the ball well in the first half, and uh, I probably would have stayed in the zone, too. <laughs> Up to this point, what do you think the strength of this team is? What what, what have you really been impressed with, with the 4-2 and two start just on the court? What are you guys doing well? well once again, I, I don't... I think we're very efficient. You know, we don't turn the ball over very much. I think we had eight turnovers uh, Saturday, which is an incredible number. If we can continue to do that, we'll always be in basketball games and have a chance to win. Uh, and then on the other hand, we have to still have to improve rebounding and uh, defense. We've got to become better defenders. Have you looked? Have you looked at the other teams in Lone Star Conference at this point to see how they're faring right now? See if is anybody surprising you that is going to be in the mix that maybe you didn't well, expect. You know, once again, I think Midwestern is probably looks like they they've got a really good team. I mean, they're undefeated and they beat beat some good teams. Uh, uh, I think Tarleton and West Texas will still be very good. And Eastern New Mexico went over and beat UTEP a couple of weeks ago, and uh, they're very talented. So that'll be a they're a much improved team. But I think from top to bottom, anybody can beat you on any given night. And before St. Mary's, you do have Arlington Baptist. Um, what can you expect from that team? You know, we haven't done much of a scout report on Arlington Baptist. Uh, it's a game that we hope we can let everybody on our team play. You know, coaches usually don't say that, but I think last year, year before last, we, we beat them pretty good. But um, we'll be ready. That's all I can tell you. We'll be ready. <laughs>